Okay. Before we start really quick coding, I'm just going to read out this quick disclaimer for everyone. Yeah. This session will be recorded for safety purposes and to share with our athletes on our websites. The instructors are here to lead you, but please use your own discretion as to the intensity of what you participate. If you have a pre-existing injury, please use caution when participating in this session. Thanks, everyone. Okay. Everyone ready to get a workout in? Yeah. Perfect. So today, um, high intensity intervals, just like we always do. Today, we're going to do the same timing as last week. So 30 seconds of work, 45 seconds of rest. Um, what's going to change is the exercises. We're going to change them up a little bit this week, but the timing will stay the same. Um, what we're going to start with today is we're going to start with our squat jumps. We're going to get right into it, get some, get that heart rate up. So first thing will be squat jumps. I will show you that again. So all we're doing is a slight squat. We don't have to go all the way down. It's gonna be a slight squat, slight jump. Nice and controlled. If you don't wanna do the jump, just do steady squats. That's the first one. We're then going to do a split squat. So one foot forward, one foot back. Front foot completely planted. Back foot, we want our toes on the ground, heels up. From this position, we are going to go up and down in a controlled pace. We will take our break. And then the next one is the opposite side. So feet stay planted the whole time. So if you're ready, we will get started with those three. So everyone up. We will start in 20 seconds. So get ready. Okay, here we go. Squat jumps. Five seconds. And stop. Perfect. Resting now and then split squats. Yeah, on break now. We're going to get that heart rate up quick today. Remember, in between exercises, we want to control our breathing. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. 10 seconds. So start getting ready. Up to you which leg you want to start with in front. And start. Five more seconds and stop. Perfect. So remember which side you just did because we will now do the opposite. Thirty more seconds. Okay, 10 seconds, so let's get ready. And start.
Five more seconds. And stop. Perfect. Hopefully that feels good. That is one round. We are going to do that two more times. Okay, let's get ready for those squat jumps. And go. Five seconds. And stop. Perfect. Whenever we're on break, if you need water, get some water. We will be going into split squat. Choose a side you want to start with. And start. Five seconds. And stop. Perfect. You should feel a nice burn in your legs. Yeah, it's okay as long as you're drinking fluids during the workout. So we'll be doing the other side now. Let's get ready. And start. Five seconds. And stop. Perfect. Two rounds done. One round to go. We're going back to our squat jump. Get ready. And start.
five seconds. And stop. No more squat jumps. Those are done. Hopefully you're all feeling good. We're almost done the first circuit. Let's get ready. First side of the split squats. And go. Five seconds and stop. Good work, good work. All we have left is the other side. So let's get ready. And start. Five seconds. And stop. Perfect. Good job, everyone. We are going to take a two minute break here. Get water, catch your breath. And then we're gonna do three different movements. We will be on the ground for the next three. So if you need a mat or anything, please grab that now because we will be on the ground. Just over a minute still to let you catch your breath, bring that heart rate down. Remember water is important. Okay, I will show you the exercises, but we are not starting yet. I will just show you what we're doing. First thing we are going to do is our kneeling push-ups. So we want feet on the ground, knees on the ground, hands on the ground. We are just going to bend our arms, lower down, come back up. Remember 30 seconds, so we wanna pace ourselves. Don't go too quick, but steady, controlled reps, take breaks as you need. That's the first exercise. Second exercise, we will be in the exact same position, but we're gonna do our bird dog. So bird dog is opposite arm, opposite leg up at the same time. Just like that. We are going to do all the same side for 30 seconds. So right arm, left leg, 
right arm, left leg. We will then switch to left arm, right leg as the third movement. So push ups and both sides of the bird dog. We will go right away. So let's get on the grounds. Remember, pace yourselves as much as you need to. We don't want to overdo this. 20 seconds. Ten seconds. And let's start those push ups. If you ever need a break, just stop for a second and then keep going. And stop. Perfect. You can sit up, lay down, whatever you feel you need to do. We're going to rest. I will let you know when to continue. Pick which side, figure out which side you want to start with for the bird dog. But remember, opposite arm to leg. If you go right arm, we want to go left leg that is being raised. Fifteen seconds and we'll go. Get ready. And start. Raise them, put them back on the ground, and then raise them again. And stop. Good job. Break and then opposite side. Let's get ready. Remember which side you have to do now. We're doing the other one that we just did and go. And stop. Perfect. If you need water, grab your water. That's one round, two more rounds. Let's get ready for those push ups. And start.
and stop. Good job. Fifteen seconds, and then we'll go to the first side of the bird dog. Get ready and begin. And stop. Fifteen more seconds. Let's get ready. And begin. And stop. Perfect. That's two rounds down. One round to go. One more round. If you need water, make sure you get some water. Okay, let's get ready for those push ups. And start. And stop. Push ups are done. No more push ups. Now we just have both sets of the bird dog, both sides, and those are done as well. Okay, let's get ready. Pick which side you want to start with. And begin.
and stop. That side is done. Fifteen seconds, and then we'll go. Okay, get ready for the last side. And start. And stop, perfect. Those exercises are done. Two minute break again. Then we have one more circuit. We will be standing up for the last three. But let's get some water now, catch our breath. And then one more circuit, three exercises, three rounds. Two minute break. Water is important here. In about 30 to 45 seconds, I will show you what we're doing. Okay, so first exercise is our sumo deadlift. So sumo deadlift, wide stance, feet. So our toes are pointed outwards with our legs spread out. Our hands are in front of us. We are always looking forward. We are going almost like a squat motion, but we are sinking down with our hands between our legs. So from a side angle, this is what it should look like up and down. We don't want to be going down with our body, upper body. Stay nice and straight like this. That's the first exercise. Second exercise is our hip hinge, one side hip hinge. So front leg, foot completely planted, back leg, toes on ground, heels up, hands down, and we are reaching down and up. So we go from looking forward to looking down and coming back up. We're gonna feel all the back of our leg, right through the back of our leg. Then the last one is of course the other side. So switch the feet and then we do the same thing on the other side. Those are our final movements of the day. We will start in 15 seconds. So let's get ready. Get those legs spread out. And begin. Five seconds and stop. Good job. That was the first one. Now you get to decide which leg you start with for the hip hinge.
15 more seconds. Okay, get ready. And begin. Look forward, look down, look forward and look down. You should feel the back of your leg. And stop. Good job, everyone. Remember what side you did so we can do the opposite side. Ten seconds, so let's get the other leg in front now. And begin. And stop, perfect. That is one round done, two more rounds. Ten seconds. Back to the sumo deadlift. And let's go. And stop, perfect. Hope you're all feeling good. Fifteen seconds. Decide what leg you want to start with for the hip hinge. And begin. And stop, perfect. Now, remember what side you just did so we can do the opposite.
Let's get ready. And begin. And stop, perfect, that's two rounds in. One more round, final round of the workout. So we'll start the round with that sumo deadlift. We will go in 20 seconds. Let's get ready. And start. And stop, okay, that is done. That exercise is over. Each side of the hip hinge to go, and we are done. 30 seconds, and we'll do the first side. Get ready, decide what side you want to go with. And begin. Five seconds. And stop. We are done that side. Thirty seconds to go, and then we finish up the last side. Fifteen seconds. Let's get set up. And start. Five seconds. And done. Okay, great work, everyone. We're gonna finish up with a little bit of stretching now, okay? So the exercises are done, but now let's just stretch out a bit. First thing we're going to do, we're gonna go on the ground, grab your mat if you have it. We're gonna go on our knees. We're going to have our hands in front of us. 
and just let your body sink backwards. Feel a nice stretch through your shoulders, through your back. And just hang out here for a little bit. Stretch it out. Now we'll come forward. We're going to lay down on our stomach with our elbows and hands on the ground in front of us. And just look straight ahead. So slightly lift up your upper body and just look forward. Good, and now let's go back to that first one, one more time. So sinking backwards. And then that is it for that. Let's stand up now. We are just going to do our toe reaches. So nice and tall standing, just slowly lower towards the ground, feeling a nice stretch through the back of your legs. Slowly try to go lower and lower. Slowly come back up. Let's spread our legs out. Slightly point those toes out like we did for the sumo deadlift. And let's do the same thing. Slowly lower to the ground. And slowly come back up. Perfect. We are done. Hopefully you all feel pretty.